the speed is understood as the rate at which any quantity is changed per unit of time. We will convert linear speed, which is denoted by the letter V. Usually, the following units are used to measure linear speed. Kilometer per hour, kilometer per minute, kilometer per second, meter per minute. In the SI system, the unit of speed is a meter per second. <gasps> Today we will learn how to convert one unit of speed to another. Note that the name of the unit of speed is written as a fraction. The units of length are written in the numerator of the fraction and the units of time in the denominator. Therefore when converting, given number must be multiplied by a fraction. Units of length are converted in its numerator and units of time in its denominator. Let's try to convert with some examples. Convert 72 kilometers per hour into meters per second. The number 72 must be multiplied by a fraction. In its numerator we'll convert kilometers into meters, multiplying by 10 to the third power. And in its denominator, we'll convert hours into seconds. There are 3,600 seconds in one hour. With just a little bit of calculations, we get 20 meters per second. We didn't explain this example in detail. It is suitable for those who are already fluent in converting for example, seconds into hours or meters into kilometers. If you have any troubles understanding this example, do watch episodes 3 and 6. Firstly, learn how to convert units of length, then units of time, and then move on to speed conversions. <sighs> No task, no problems. Where is your top dog? It's so unusually quiet today. He ran for the tables as you said to watch two episodes once more. Why did you decide to switch from my personal life to studies? I'm so pleasantly surprised. It's too early for you to be surprised. Sit down and roll. I'm sorry, what? Roll flowers from these papers to surprise you, lady. I've already prepared a couple of them. Fortunately, we managed to shoot these tables in the last episodes. By the way, if thanks to Hikyupi they are in such a poor condition, let us show you that it's possible to convert units of length, not only by that tables. You can also use a chain similar to the time unit conversion chain. Look here. Remember that when you convert in the same direction as the arrows show, you multiply by upper factors. And if you convert in the opposite direction, then multiply by lower factors. Let's start converting units of speed with these wonderful chains. That's the romantic tone that you must use when talking to the system. And you are both silent all the time. It's so funny to watch. Stop telling me what to do. According to the first rule, we will convert units of speed in the same direction as the arrows show. 0.5 kilometers per second will be converted to the SI system. That is to meters per second. To do this, kilometers must be converted to meters. 0.5 times 10 to the third power. Time is already given in seconds, so there is no need to convert it. We calculate and get 500 meters per second. Convert 180 meters per minute to meters per second. Look. Here on the contrary, the units of length are already given in meters. This means that there is no need to convert them. Therefore in the numerator of the fraction, we simply write 180. And in the denominator, we convert minutes into seconds. There are 60 seconds in one minute. After calculations, we get the answer. 3 meters per second. Let's convert 120 kilometers per minute to meters per second. In the numerator of the fraction we need to convert kilometers to meters. And in the denominator, minutes to seconds. We multiply 120 by 10 to the third power. And we put 60 in the denominator. Let's simplify the fraction and do some calculations. We get 2 times 10 to the third power. The answer can be written in this form, or you can calculate further and write down 2000 meters per second. Rule number 2. We will convert against the arrow from SI system to other units of speed. Let's say you need to convert 100 meters per second to kilometers per hour. In the numerator of the fraction, we will convert meters to kilometers and in the denominator, seconds to hours. 100 must be multiplied by 10 to the negative third power. Take a look at the time chain. 
a second equals 1 over 3600 hours. So we write it down in the denominator of the fraction. Now we need to do something with our fraction. We definitely need some math here. 10 to the negative third power is 1 tenth to the third power. Therefore 10 to the negative third power goes from the numerator to the denominator, but already with a positive exponent. 3600 goes straight to the numerator. How did we do this trick? Let's recall that to divide fractions, you need to multiply the first fraction by the reciprocal of the second fraction. In other words, you simply need to turn the second fraction upside down. After simplifying, we get 360 kilometers per hour. Let's convert 30 meters per second to kilometers per hour. 30 is multiplied by 10 to the negative third power and divided by 1 over 3600. We simplify a bit, calculate and get 108 kilometers per hour. Now let's convert 600 meters per second to kilometers per minute. To do this, in the numerator of the fraction, meters need to be converted to kilometers. That is why we multiply by 10 to the negative third power. And in the denominator, seconds need to be converted into minutes. Recall that a second equals 1 over 60 of a minute. We do some magic and get 36 kilometers per minute. 5 meters per second are to be converted to meters per minute. Fortunately, there is no need to convert meters here. In the denominator, we convert seconds into minutes. That is 1 over 60. 60 goes straight to the numerator. We calculate and get 300 meters per minute. 2000 meters per second needs to be converted to kilometers per second. We will convert meters to kilometers. Multiply 2000 by 10 to the negative third power. There is no need to convert seconds, so we get an answer right away. 2 kilometers per second. This is it. Now do try to convert by yourself. The answers as you already know can be found by the link in the description. Good luck. See you in the next episode.